the option of add an eSIM is not showing up so how we can resolve this problem so i will show you okay first of all we have to try your check carrier support ensure this that your mobile carrier support and eSIM functionality okay not all carrier provided eSIM services so confirm with your carrier that they offer eSIM and that your account is eligible for it okay and also we have to try restart of your iphone a simple restart can often resolve many issues to restart of your iphone press and hold the side key and the volume up button okay then this slide will be a bit drag the slide to the right side and wait for a device to completely turn it off after a few seconds you have to turn on your device now see problem will be resolved or not if not we have to also check for a software update if an update is available so we have to update of your device going to setting then general here is software update if an update is available so you have to update your device and also we have to try resetting your network setting sometime a resetting network setting can resolve many connectivity issue going to your general again then transfer reset iphone then reset reset network setting they will ask me for your passcode give them again confirm the settings so that's all okay and we have to also enable cellular settings sometimes you have to not enable this feature so simply we have to go into your mobile service or cellular in setting then we have to check if there is an option to add a cellular plug or a eSIM if you see set up your cellular call like this here you have to call again set up this okay and also we have to check for your restriction sometimes they have a restriction so that's why your eSIM is not working expected going to setting again now we have going to screen time here is now we have to find content and privacy restriction so here you have to see you have to allow them or not like this one okay and we have to use a QR code or a carrier app if you have a QR code that your carrier for eSIM activation going to setting again cellular then again you have to use QR code to scan the code and now see you will add your eSIM to your iPhone okay and if this not working we have to contact your carrier like if there have some problem ongoing in their end okay so that's how you can resolve this problem so thank you